Today, I wanna to help you give better feedback when you're reviewing the build of a page or a site you designed. Knowing how to inspect the code, make little tweaks in the browser, will let you give specific feedback to the developer you work with on what needs to change. It's gonna improve your process, hopefully improve your relationship with the developer too, as you'll be speaking their language a little bit more. And it's really easy to do if you have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS. If you don't know what HTML and CSS are, go check out my 101 video first for an introduction, but I promise you, you can use this inspect element process to give feedback, even if you don't know how to write code from scratch yourself. Okay, so first let me show you how you can take a peek behind the code and see the code of a website. So on Chrome, all you have to do is right click, go inspect, and you'll see the code load in either at the side, it might also be down the bottom. You can sort of change the position of it to sit where you would like on screen, but I generally like to have it here. In Safari, it's a little bit different. First, you have to go into settings, into the advanced tab and make sure you have this show develop menu in menu bar checked. But once that's there, you'll see develop in the menu, but you can also do the same right click and inspect element like you can in Chrome. We're gonna stick with Safari for this video because it's the browser I like to use, but things work pretty much the same um, from here on out across Safari and Chrome. So you can really click anywhere on the screen to open up this inspect element menu. But what I like to do specifically is to click on the item or like the issue that I see. So say here, if I wanna look at increasing the space between the logo and this heading here, I would click here, go inspect element, because that way it's gonna highlight for me in the code the exact thing that I clicked on. And so I know that the issue is gonna be around this area. Area. Once this inspection panel is open, you'll see as I hover on elements that it highlights them and I can see uh, where is the padding that shows up in green, where is the margin that shows up in orange. And so for this specific issue, I can see that as I hover on the heading, that is what the margin code is currently attached to, not the logo above it. And so this is where I wanna look to see what code I wanna tweak. It's really useful that the developer tools do this highlighting of the margin and padding with these different colors because I find that spacing is most often the thing that I end up going into inspect element to futz about with and suggest something different. So what we're looking at now is actually my own site that I built. And so in this case, I would just be giving feedback to myself, but let's say we designed this page, a developer built it, and we want more space between these things. We could just say to the developer, increase the space between these elements, but it's gonna be much more useful if we could tell the developer the specific value that we wanna change it to. So let's figure that out. So we've selected the element. Now we're gonna come up into styles over here and we're gonna find where the margin top is cause that's what we wanna tweak. And here it is is attached to the H2. So I can just click on this and I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard to just start increasing the pixel sizes. I could also type something in if I wanted. Well, maybe not that big. <laughs> that seems a little bit better. I'm um, holding shift and pushing the arrow key jumps it up by 10. So I can figure out what I think this space should be, what feels right to me as I'm looking at the site and I can look at it at different breakpoints as well, which is very useful. And then I can give that information to the developer. Now, when you do this, like when I put in that accidental very large number before, you don't have to worry about breaking your site. You're not making changes that anyone else can see but you. You're making changes to your view of the website, not the actual code behind the website itself. So if I refresh the page, then the spacing will go back to what it was before I started playing around with it. The more understanding you have of HTML and CSS, the more powerful and also fun <laughs> this inspect element can be. Say for example, if I'm not happy with how this photo is sitting here, I can right click, let's go take a look at this. I could come in here and adjust the background position. Like we could have it sit at 40%, maybe even 30%. I could also decide that we wanna see the whole photo and you don't just have to change selectors and values that are already in here as well. I could also add a line, like say if I wanted to stop this tiling from happening. I can just type it in here in the code and there we go. Why I like doing this in Safari is that it highlights in green the things I've changed. Um, if I come over to Chrome and show you, if I make a change here to this um, margin, for example, it doesn't show me that I've tweaked it. And so by doing it in Safari, I know what I changed, what I played around with. I can copy and paste that code and share it with a developer as feedback. 
Having an understanding of how the code base for the site you design for is set up is a real benefit as well, because as well as editing values, you could also edit classes. I'll come over to the ConvertKit site and show you a little bit of this. Like say, once I'm seeing this design live with the animation, I feel like this heading here should actually be smaller. You can just go inspect element, go down to the class. You can see it's styled with a text extra large class. And because I know our code base and how the our like type scale system works in classes. I can come in here and type class LG and the heading will shrink to that large font size. And I can decide if that is what I prefer. If I decided I like this better, in that case, I could say to the developer, instead of make the font this exact size, I can say, make it text large instead of text extra large. Reviewing designs in this way can save quite a bit of a back and forth of like getting the spacing or the sizing or the color exactly right. You can, you know, change your mind, make decisions after the fact as you're seeing things built about what the spacing should be, how large something should be. And it can also be a really great way to increase your HTML and CSS literacy too. I think it's really valuable to understand the way your designs are built. And this idea of inspecting element, inspecting the website is kind of like the online equivalent to taking something apart to see how it was made. I really hope this is useful though, and that it'll make the feedback process smoother with the developers you work with, help you both like get on the same page. If you're interested in hearing about the design process we're going through right now at ConvertKit to design a new version of our marketing site, then you should click here to watch a video about that. <laughs>